OK. So in this case, what they're asking you to do is to find the magnitude as well as the direction of the angle. No, 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 put it on the desk. OK, I don't want it to come back out then. OK. okay. So um, we need to find the magnitude, which I think is probably the most basic of this, Sarah. To do that, remember the magnitude of your vector v is just going to simply be the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. OK? So to find the magnitude, that's all right. We just take the square root v1 squared is 6 squared plus negative 6 squared, which equals the square root of um, 72. Yes? Uh, yeah, the top one left. So then you can simply just go ahead and um, simplify this if you like to, but um, well, I'm not really going to be con too concerned right now. You'd probably go ahead and simplify that down into a um, approximation so you could reduce this down into 6 square root of 2. All right? So that's your magnitude. That's going to be the length of the vector. All right? The next one that we need to deal with is finding the direction of the angle. Now remember, the direction of the angle we said was tangent of theta equals v2 over v1. All right, so I'm going to borrow Ava's calculator. And now I'm simply going to do, well, I, uh, well I'll show you this, is I'm going to take the tangent. So obviously, this is tangent of theta equals negative 6 over 6. So tangent of theta equals negative 1. But again, we need to evaluate for theta, right? So to find theta, I need to say, Theta equals tan inverse of negative 1. So I type that in my calculator. So I say inverse tan of negative 1 is negative 45 degrees. Um, Um, so tangent equals negative 45 degrees, and oh, I'm sorry, that's a negative 45 degrees. And that would be it as far as um, unless you also are going to. I think we have their vectors would also be on your 315, um, which is going to be the same thing.